How's it going everybody? Thank you for watching this video and just a quick note if you guys are subscribed or if you guys haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe and when you do click this little bell here on my channel and get all notifications sent to you from my channel that way you guys can be updated with all of my channel updates and uploads and whatever else I do on here. Thanks for watching. How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and today we're going to be looking at your main class and how you guys can register events. Also be sure to stick around and make sure not to jump around in the video or you could miss something like I said before even skipping you know 10 seconds ahead you could miss a whole line of code uh, which could really affect the functionality of your plugin. Uh, also, everything in this video will be available to you on GitHub, so make sure to go there if you're running into any issues, and let's get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do here in our main class is pretty much the one of the most basic methods um, that we that you need to do uh, for your main class is we need to create a public void on enable, and then we'll end it in parentheses there. And nine times out of ten, you're always going to end your stuff in parentheses. Uh, more than likely because well you will because then you could um, for instance not something for like the on enable um, but you could do player player and then you could do that in your on enable but we don't need to do that so we're just gonna get rid of that and we need to add a bracket there and then the next thing we're gonna do is the public void on disable and one of the most basic things you can do inside your on enable and on disables is basically just have a message go out to the console saying that the plugin has been enabled or disabled. And that's what we're going to do. Um, and now on disabled, you won't really use as much unless you are um, clearing hash maps or arrays or setting information to the config file or a MySQL database, which we will talk about in later videos. Um, but for now, what we want to do is we want to type git server. So uppercase, so lowercase git, uppercase server. Then we want to do git console sender. And then we want to do send or dot send message. And then we're going to use chat colors here. So we can do chat color, uppercase C's. And then we're going to want to do, and then dot, ooh, not red. We want to do dot green, all uppercase. And we're going to add a plus sign. And now we're going to add a string here. And a string is basically a compilation of characters and they can be numbers so I could put one 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 inside of here or if I really wanted to I could put you know just one 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 like that except for I do need to add strings here because it is a message here but that's besides the point but what we want to say is tutorial has been enabled I'm really bad at spelling and what we also want to do here is just we can have some spacing here. We do backslash n, backslash n, so double backslash n's. And what this does is it tells our console um, that we need to add new lines. And now uh, you should rewrite all this. I'm not going to for the sake of speed, um, but you should always write as much code as you can while you're learning. And that's going to be the best way to remember things and sort of the methods and the construction of things. Um, but for the sake of time, we are just not going to do that for these videos. And then we're going to copy that same thing right to the on disabled, but change it to on disabled. Our tutorial has been disabled, and we're going to change the color to red. And now we're going to want to reload, confirm, and reload, confirm here. So we can see plug tutorial plugin has been disabled. And it looks like our on enable is not working. Oh, you see? So this is what I was talking about, about it being case sensitive. I have an uppercase O here when it needs to be a lowercase, and that's why we don't see that it has been enabled. And there we go. So tutorial has been disabled, tutorial has been enabled. And now I like to do, there's a couple of different ways you can send messages to the console. And, you know, you can see it there. Um, but I personally like the get server and console sender send message because you can use chat colors. Um, most server sites won't really allow you to use chat colors if you're using a server site um, because their consoles will just be plain text. But I like it for when we're doing tests here. We can see where errors are easier and we can see when things are happening and when they aren't happening. And it just makes it easier when we're looking through the stack trace and this is the stack trace. Um, it just makes it easier when we're looking through the stack trace to see when things are happening because we can just look for a color. We're like, okay, well, I typed it in you know blue and, oh here's you know our types in green oh, okay here's green okay so what's happening here and so now we have our first so now we have um, our plugin doing something although it's just sending a message it's it's doing something and you guys have already created a, a working plugin here 
um, and we can tell this by looking in here and we can see that our plugin is right here so the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to start looking at registering events so what we want to do is we want to create a new class well we want to create a new package but there's a few ways we can do this and we can do this simply by just doing this in our class here so where it says package here we can just go ahead and type in a new package there and it will create a new package and we want our package or our class name to be events class and now for the sake of this video we're just going to throw all of our events inside of this one class but usually you want to separate your events to their own classes that way you can easily edit things and easily find things without having to search through a bunch of things and you can keep it organized inside their own packages um, so what we want to do here is we want to type implements listener and then control shift O that and we're going to import the bucket and listener there and then what we want to do here in our tutorial or our main class we want to do get server oops dot get plugin manager dot register events then we want to type in new our events class name which is events class and then we'll put uh, parentheses around it and then it's going to ask us we want we need a plugin there you see right there it says plugin and that's going to be whatever class has the Java plugin and it just so happens to be this class we can just type in this and now control shift O to import our events class oops I need an S in there events class and now our events class is registered and what we can simply do here is we'll just make a quick event uh, so whenever you're doing events you need to do uh, add event handler and then we'll go public void and then we'll just do a uh, on Oh, I don't know. On move. So we'll just do a just an easy one here. So player move event event, and it's just going to uh, we'll just print out a message in our system here. So system dot print out uh, one. So every time the player moves, um, our console it's going to print out a one, and we can see that right there that it is working. And so now you guys have learned how to set up your main class here, uh, your on enable, on disable, and you guys have learned about registering events. And uh, the same method applies here that we just did if you guys created multiple classes. So I could have as many of these as I would like to, and I could change these names um, to be whatever I wanted it to be. I can make as many event classes as I wanted to, and you just simply register them by typing that out like that. And so that is all I have for you guys on this lesson today. So make sure to join back next time in the next video we're going to learn about the actual player movie event there and we're going to explore what you can do in there uh, also make sure to comment your thoughts leave a like if you enjoyed the video and tweet at me at the underscore source underscore code or tweet the hashtag tsc coding to share your projects or if you need help troubleshooting a project and lastly make sure to follow me on github where all the project files will be and for any updates for the project files such if i um such if anything gets deprecated or anything like that we have to update the code um yeah so that's all i got for you guys and thanks for watching